Hey there everybody, this is Millennium Jester signing back in with a new Let's Play Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. Oh yeah, it's happening. Oh yeah, 16 bit summer, I can feel it. Let's get some cutscenes. So, this is Chrono Trigger, a magical game about magical things in a magical world unlike any other. No. Chrono Trigger was developed for the Super Nintendo by Square Enix in 1994, 5, around there. Towards the end of the Super Nintendo's lifespan, I know for a fact. Uh, it is actually probably regarded as one of the best games ever made ever, for good reason. I mean, just listen to this music. Holy hot damn. This is how, by the way, this is how you do introductory cutscenes. Like, I saw, I showed the cutscene during the, uh, the uh, preview video from the uh, DS version, or the PSX version, yeah. The animated cutscenes, but this is how you do it, with the gameplay. These are these are events that happen in the game. You, all this happens, and this gets you psyched for playing Chrono Trigger. And cutscenes, or, uh, sorry, not cutscenes, uh, credits at the beginning, too, obviously. Like, look at that! You, you can't wait to play this game just to see, like, alright, what the hell is with the tower? with the dragon on top of the bat. I want to I want to see that. I want to play that. What what are these guys? Holy crap. I know. Frog. These all right, there's a frog with a sword and he he he, he summons a frog to smash down these guys. This is awesome. Oh, look at all the damage. Holy hot damn. I want to play this game. That's what cutscenes should invoke. Like just just starting up the game you're like god Damn, I want to play this game. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice is a little raspy, I'm still a little bit sick. But needless to say, look at look at this. Look at this. Mode 7. Suckers. That's all I have to that's that's all that needs to be said, honestly. What the hell is that thing? I'm on a bridge and the, what the what the hell is skeletor looking Zombor, what's that? Oh wait, what's what's going on? Oh, oh, oh. It's fucking awesome! There goes my f bomb for this intro, by the way. They're riding on dra or is it dinosaurs? What the what's this thing? Holy hot Jesus! What? Do that's awesome. That's that's all that needs to be said. I can't elaborate any further on how awesome that is, so I, I, I'm i just going to start the game. I, I, there's nothing else I can do. So I'm going to be playing on wait, uh, simply for the fact that this is a let's play and I like to talk during it, um, so I won't be paying too much attention. Here's our main character. We get to name him. His name is Chrono, or, uh, or Hank. No, let's do Chrono. I'm going to be keeping the character's names just for this let's play. Uh, I don't know. You can name him whatever you want. Seems to be some kind of beach and uh, balloons and explosions and holy hot damn, what's happening here? Hmm. Well, not much we can do about that. Chrono. Yeah, you can move the, uh, the box around with the, uh, Y button? Yeah. Chrono. Good morning, Chrono. Oh, who's that? I'm so fucking... Need to stop drinking. Oh, oh, it's Mom. Come on, sleepyhead, get up. Oh, fine. Oh, God! Oh! The light, it burns! So excited about the Millennial Fair that you didn't sleep. But what's the Millennial Fair? I'll try. Can't make any promises, obviously, because, well, I'm Chrono, and I just don't make promises like that. Alright. Alright, let's see. First off, let's close this, go back to sleep. No, we have to get up. It appears that there's a lamp and a typewriter and some kind of books and a little book over here and a radio so we can listen to our, uh, our tunes. You can run with the uh, B button, by the way. Finally, by the way, that adventure friend of yours. Oh, her name. So this is Luca. She's our friend, I guess. New invention. 
I don't know nothing about no invention bombs. You crazy. Allowance? Yeah, so we get 200 Gs. Alright, so let's talk to the, uh... Nothing, that's the inventory. Oh, Mr. Phoenix, you're so cute. That just looks wrong. Anyway, so we got a kitchen here, not much to do, so let's, let's leave this joint. And we are in the town of Lean, I believe. This is what it's called. Market, we got a Mayor's Manor. Truce Inn. Luca's house. I wonder if she's home. Doesn't look like anybody's home. In fact, this place looks like a crazed mess. Wee! By the way, Chrono has like the wackiest run animation I've ever seen. The boot, 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 boot. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know what kind of music would go along to such a freaking crazed run animation. Anyway, got some places we can visit. Uh, Chrono's house, residence, Trucin. Um. Uh, but let's go to the Millennial Fair. That seems to be where we want to go. The Lean Square. I also pronounce it Lean. Uh, I've heard people pronounce it Lean or Lean or something like that. So here we can play games. Uh, the first game I'm going to show you is this game. Press the A button while facing the bell. Judge your distance carefully and press the A button again. All right, so... Ah, I didn't get it. Oh, wait, I did. Yeah. So basically, you hit it, you go back, and then you fly forward, and if it hits it, you get one silver point. Which isn't that great, but it is a really easy way to rack it up, I guess. It doesn't take much skill, I should say. Have fun. Who are you? Luke and her dad have made another crazy invention. Hope it doesn't blow up like all the others. Oh, so they're a uh, Jimmy Neutron kind of inventor. Also, I don't know why, but I, re I was like really impressed. With the sitting animation against the... It's like, blue in my mind, man. Hmm. Sounds like poppycock to me. Oh, this guy pays big bucks for charms, weapons, pendants, and other rarities. I ain't got none of those. Melchior the Swordsmith, huh. Well, he sells an iron blade and a load sword. Uh, we don't have enough money for uh, the load sword, but... Eh, forget it. We don't need that. We're a man. We don't care about that thing. It's a renowned tense of horror. Spend your two silver points here. Parental discretion advised. Wow. GI Jogger. So this is the uh, jogging or the racing, uh, the racing mini game or whatever. And you basically place your bet on whoever's gonna win, and if they win, you win. Uh, you can talk to this guy, and he gives you like some insider tips, like the Steel Runner might try something. That's the guy or the knight. But, uh, yeah, sometimes, I'm sorry, I shouldn't say sometimes, most of the times it doesn't work, so. What's the big deal? So what if we won a war against a wizard hundreds of years ago? Uh, I don't know. Was he a cool wizard? I've never heard of a cool wizard before. This was 400 years ago. What the hell do you care? Hmm, alright, well, anyway, blah, blah, blah! Itches on Chrono's dick. No. Ouch, that hurt. Oh, Leon's bell. No, I'm dead. So, check with her first. Oh, no, don't tell me I lost it. So, let's run over here and grab it. Give it back to her, because we're good guys. That's what we do. Yes, you may. Uh, sure, why not? My name is Er... Marley. I pronounce it Marley, not Marl. Oh, she went inside me. Now she's joined my party. Uh, another interesting fact about Chrono Trigger is that the characters follow you. Holy hot damn. Isn't that crazy? Soda Guzzling Contest. Presses A button as fast as you can. All right, let's do this. Damn it, no. I suck at this game. Yeah, I'm competitive. I only need one more. Where's your cat? Uh, let's go find him. Do, 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 do. What's this guy doing? 
send out for his launch. Let's take it and eat it. You can, but I wouldn't. So if you talk to the cat, it runs. Wait, no, that's not right. It's supposed to follow me. Stupid cat. Stupid fair. Who brings a cat to a fair anyway? I wouldn't. So yeah, if you uh, if you talk to it just once, it'll just follow you. More party met now. <laughs> That'd be horrible. The cat is the strongest member of our party, obviously. He has claws, and all I have is a stick that I beat my enemies to death with. All right, here's your cat. Oh, it was nothing. I'm just uh, I'm just a nice guy, you know. I hate fairs. Say, do you know the latest gossip? Why are you at a fair if you hate fairs? Then scram! I do not know the latest gossip. Tomboy of a daughter? <laughs> Don't say. 10 silver points for 50 Gs. No thank you, I'm cool on all that. Luca's robot battle trainer? Huh. Let's go test that out. Here we come against Gato. He's got metal joints. Beat me up and earn 15 points. Let's do it. For combat time. So this is like an introduction to the combat, I guess. It's like the tech demo. I suppose. So basically, you control all these different characters. And you can attack with them, which attacks with the weapon. Or you can use attack, which we don't have any yet for her anyway. Or for Chrono, now that I think about it. So basically, all we can do is attack. Chrono uses, uh... I wouldn't call them swords. Uh, blades in battle? I guess he uses katanas, basically. And uh, he has a higher chance to critical than most, I suppose. So, once you beat Gato, you get... 15 points. Wasn't that nice? And you can basically keep, or basically, basically keep grinding against, <coughs> <coughs> forgive me, uh, you can keep grinding against him for, uh, lots of points. Probably the easiest way to rack up points. I think Gato gets stronger later on in the game, so watch out for that. Uh, they're still sitting up, huh? Well, I guess there's not much else we could do. Let's talk to Melchior. Uh, no. I still don't want anything. By the way, could you talk that young lady into selling her pendant? No. I don't know why. It's her pendant. Plus, she probably paid a lot for it, obviously. Oh yeah, I should talk about the items for a second. <clears throat> Tonics heal 50 HP. Heals restore your statuses or whatever. Uh, revives bring you back, and shelters uh, give you... They heal, like, your whole party or whatever. It's, uh... You probably just... I mean, I don't know. It's like potions and all that. They just don't have potions in this game. Hold your horses. You want to get some candy? What? So you have to stand still here. You can't move. Can we go? I, I want to see my girlfriend. I mean, you're hot, but, I mean, she's... She's a genius. Like some of this. Sure, young lady. And we get the cotton candy, because we're just the boss. Step right up, any of you who have the time and the courage. Our super dimension warp is the invention of the century. To use it, jump up here. And you'll get teleported here. It's the masterwork of my beautiful daughter, Luca. <laughs> Luca looks crazy up there. Give it a try, kid. Oh, it's you, Chrono. Chrono? Where have you been? I'll try it, why not? Is it gonna be like when we did the teleporter with Bill and Pokemon Yellow? I hope not. Work it! Oh, I'm giving it all she's got, Captain! Oh god, that was so weird. My particles, oh god. That was great! Hmm. What a kick, I want to try it out too. Huh? 
Hey, Chrono, how did you pick up a cutie like her? Do I sense jealousy, Luca? Behold, ladies and gentlemen, as this vision of our loveliness steps aboard the machine. Throw the switch! Do it now! Yeah, let's do it. And nothing will go wrong. Turn it up to 11! Ah! Oh, what? what's going on? That's not the good music. Oh, no, 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 wait, what? Oh, no, no. Huh? Uh-oh. Oh, God, no! Oh, God, no! What the hell is- oh, oh! Marley? Marley, no! Oh, great. What the hell just happened? Luca, where is she? Show's over, folks. Let's head out. What's going on, Luca? Where is she? The way she disappeared. It couldn't have been the telepod. The warp feels sudden to af be affected by her pendant. Oh, great. Now my speaking voice is going to hell again. What are we going to do now? She's so familiar. I know I've seen her somewhere. I got this, guys. Crank it up to 11. Chrono? You're actually going to do it. Listen, I don't know where this machine's going to send you, but we haven't any other choice. Wouldn't they both be lost? This is our only hope. The pendant seems to be the key, so hang on to it, Chrono. Embrace yourself. All systems on. Oh, jack it up to 11, yeah! Power to full! I need more power! Oh, yeah! But where will we end up? And will Marley be safe? On this adventure through time and space? Who knows? But the only thing I can tell you now is find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This has been Millennium Jester, signing out. Have a nice day.